Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be going over clone Run. cannon Zane. This is using the Digi Clone with the Mantis Cannon. We got some insane new interactions for Zane's clone, and there is an anointment that you can give to him. A lot of you guys probably already know about this because, you know, I told you guys about this in the last clone build video, but now we can successfully pull this off. We got some new tricks, new gear, new stuff to do. Let's get into it. Real quick, before we get into it, if you guys could please drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Borderlands 3 videos. It's really important that you guys hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out in bringing you guys future Borderlands content. Also, give me a follow over on twitch.tv slash underscore, and I'd really appreciate it. We played Borderlands all day, and then uh, I actually played Godfall last night. If you guys wanna come hang out and be a part of the community. Alrighty, so let's get straight into the guns and the gear of this build. I'm gonna tell you guys the new uh, interaction that we get to use pretty consistently now to give the clone a 200% damage increase. It is absolutely insane. And we are sticking to these guns for Zane's clone now to give you guys the maximum amounts of explosive damage now. So let's go over it. Basically, what we're doing is using action skill and splash weapons. For those of you who have been watching this channel for a while, when I posted the last Zane clone build and the testing I did for his damage formula, you guys know that Zane's clone gets your splash damage bonuses. So now, when we give our clone a splash weapon, um, as long as we swap, to, like for example, let, let me give him the Sandhawk. As long as I switch to a gun with the splash anointment and activate that splash anointment, Zane's clone will now get this 200% splash damage bonus and that he doesn't get any anointments in his hand. So do not misunderstand what I'm saying. He gets Zane's splash damage bonuses. So there is a difference. Zane's clone does not get anointments, but he gets Zane's splash damage bonuses. So yeah, give your clone a splash weapon, switch to a gun with the splash anointment, and he now gets 200% increased splash damage, which is absolutely insane. And with that being said, I got a ton of guns just in my inventory. You guys can pretty much use whatever guns you want on the clone, as long as he shoots them properly, and stick to splash weapons. I even have a globe trotter, a beacon, sandhawks, a uh, plasma coil, anarchies, uh, Trevenator, let's see what else we got, the Nukem. You know, I actually haven't given the clone a recursion, but this is a splash weapon. Um, I'm actually curious if he does well with this. I'm gonna have to go test this one. The back burner is absolutely insane. Plague Bear, the Root Sniper he's really good with. The Storm Sniper is fun as all heck. I don't even have a ton of guns that I love giving the clone uh, on this build. Now, one other weapon that people always mention is the Light Show, but keep in mind the Light Show is not a splash weapon. So the Light Show is not even close to as powerful as these splash weapons weapons that you can give the digi clone one of my favorites is the beacon because it's so much fun with that being said let's go over the rest of the gear i always use the transformer while mobbing for the digi clone and i give him shock weapons so you give him a shock globe trotter for example or a shock beacon you wear the transformer your clone will never die it's a really cool combo i always use otherwise though we use the 0.m with the action skill start anointment now this is for bossing this is pretty overkill for mobbing but the 0.m um, with the ass break anointment creates a circle on the ground when you you stand inside of it all of your damage gets a 50% increase including your action skills so this is the shield for bossing the grenade it really doesn't matter I'm using the 25% on grenade throw anointment um, we are using duct tape mod in this build um, and that's because this adds more damage to the digi clone but realistically you can use bonus elements to add damage to Zane keep in mind that bonus elements will not apply to the clone uh, so don't even try for the artifact you pretty much just want to use a victory rush with aoe bonuses uh, you can see that this snowdrift doesn't have it this element projector does aoe damage is splash damage and that boosts your clones damage so it's the same idea with the splash anointment for the uh class mod now uh you know i don't want to just say we have another cn dead build here but realistically cn dead has donny brook on it which literally gives gun damage to the clone so it is technically the strongest class mod for this build i mean it's generally the strongest class mod for almost every zane build but for this build in particular because it has donny brook on it it is a very good uh class mod for the clone but actually I was using the spy class mod for mobbing and it is viable you can use the spy class mod especially with a ton of points into commitment um, and I did get one point into our man flint for my own fight for your life damage uh, because it definitely helps now going over the skill trees they are pretty simple and straightforward we have no green tree we have the capstones of the blue and the red tree and that's because the capstone in the blue tree will boost Donnybrook this gives you kill skill 25% uh, bonus which directly 
definitely buffs our clone damage because of Donnybrook. So besides that, I took a bunch of the kill skills, violent momentum, and violent speed for Zane. We are not using the drone. And I, you actually notice I did put three points into good misfortune. And this is because I'm using the spy class mod sometimes. So with extra points into good misfortune, you can boost the uh, duration of the digi clone if you're using a different class mod other than Sea and Dead. But if you do plan on using Sea and Dead, you could just stick a point into violent violence and a point into playing dirty. Why not? In the red tree, it's pretty simple. Get to double barrel. Uh, one question you may have is why didn't I take synchronicity? And that's because this is gun damage with commitment in Zane's new purple tree. Gun damage has diminishing returns. Synchronicity is a very low tier skill. I really recommend taking Premunitus instead and duct tape mod. Five points into duct tape mod will get grenades out there. Um, unfortunately, this skill is a little bit bugged. It is still throwing grenades every eight seconds instead of every four seconds. So hopefully they fix that soon. But this also prevents Zane from taking splash damage. One other question I'm going to get is why no fractal frags? And that's because with C and dead on and fractal frags equipped, you see we have a 48% chance to throw a grenade. That is a very high chance that Zane's clone will be throwing grenades instead of shooting his guns. And uh, I'd rather him shooting his guns at all times. So I ignored this skill. And besides that, we ignored like a ghost and trigger the light. These are also not great skills. Uh, I don't recommend them at all and get the double barrel capstone. In the purple tree, we basically just wanted to get to commitment and unlock a couple extra augments for our, our uh, cannon. Really, I recommend no way out, but we can't spend enough points to get no way out um, without getting both of the capstones that we want. So I just uh, pretty much just got commitment. You can take fugitive if you want. I really like this skill, so I took it as well. And that is pretty much it for the build, the synergies you need to know. Always just remember, you can give your clone a sandhawk. You notice my sandhawk does not have the splash anointment and neither will Zane's clone. Then you swap to your splash weapon with the splash anointment, activate your splash anointment, and then you your clone will get your splash damage. That's how it works. Anyways, guys, enjoy the gameplay footage after this. It's just gonna be a bunch of uh, stream highlights of boss kills with the clone. He is absolutely god tier with the splash anointment and the 0.M. Also, one mention I wanna point out that for some reason I skipped over is the plasma coil. This gun is dumb, insane, and uh, it's also insane in Zane's clones. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Let's go ahead and put clone right here. Oh, I should have swapped to the plasma coil, actually. Thanks for the moxie raid. Thanks for the moxie raid. Getting close to 2k. Wait, what's close to 2k? What just happened, by the way? Alright, watch this. We're gonna put clone right here. Alright, clone. Good luck, buddy. Get him. Good luck. There you guys go. <laughs> then, but it should have it. It should have it. Hey, Manic Geek with the Chad clone. All right, right after this, Manic Geek, because uh, this is going to be going to a YouTube video. You couldn't hit a cow's arse with Yo, a Chroma, thank you so much for the prime. There's the primers. There's the primers. Can we get some hype in the chat? Bro, imagine being the Digi clone and shooting Tyrene in the foot. Look, he aims for this ankle every time. Don't t don't ask me why. I, I genuinely don't know. Ask and ye shall receive. Thank you so much, Chroma. All right, let's put clone down here. We got this, chat. He just messed Ista up. My armory. I did it on my patch, but there's a chance they changed something since then. Me damn cannon. Yo, Don Caesar! Thank you so much for the hundred bullets. I appreciate it, dude. Alright, I don't think you guys are even ready for this.
Bearcat doesn't work with 100 commitment stacks. A worst rep and run. Do I have to kill anyone with it, or can I just have it equipped? <laughs> EDR, you're so dumb, I love it. <laughs> he said to have... Can I just have it equipped? Oh my god. I don't know if a ladybug counts as a beetle. I think it might be separate. Jealous the rest of you get to see this all the time. Death wish? Brad. I appreciate it. Good Zane boy. 